Ventura has several areas under voluntary evacuation, but the city and neighbors are prepping. In fact, they've got this right in front of burned out properties, but the concern is this flooding down the hillside. I've already done this today, yes. I came earlier for 25, for 25 bags. That was to sandbag part of his backyard, but he needed a little more to finish the job. Now, with the rains coming, we hope that, uh, that you know, the mountain will hold. I work in Santa Clarita, and it came down all day, so I figured I'd better get home and get sandbags around my crawl spaces, otherwise I could be floating. Larry White lives in an area under voluntary evacuation. He told me he's packed up in case that turns into a mandatory order. Earlier today, we caught Ventura Public Works also trying to get ahead of the storm. Crews cleared out one of the debris basins, adding about 20 to 25 percent to capacity. We have a little bit of a sponge here. It can absorb some of this runoff, but once it reaches the saturation point, things are going to start to move. Nearly every burned out property had what's called an erosion control blanket in the driveway. Others tried protecting the hillside. We're putting up some uh, hay waddles with stakes and some jute netting, as you can see. And what that does is kind of just uh, trickle the water real slow. An ounce of prevention is better than a pound of problems. It's better to make sure that, you know, everything's covered and all your bases are covered. A Truth Ventura neighbor, Millie Schofield, knows she and her husband just moved back into their home 10 days ago due to smoke damage. What's next? Pestilence? <laughs> Fire, flood, <laughs> and <the> grasshoppers? <laughs> A sense of humor against uncontrollable forces. That is the kind of armor you need out here. Now, if you want direct notifications for any mandatory evacuations, you can log right on to vcalert.org. That uh, web link is at the bottom of your screen. Or any street closures due to possible flooding tomorrow, that's vcemergency.com.